Hello and welcome to our channel, uh, Devan Clan Movie Reviews. Uh, we are Jason and Heather Devan, and today we will be reviewing the movie Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness. The Multiverse of Madness. Yes, we just came back from the theater. And if you are one of the lucky ones to get there on opening day, they will give you this. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> so let's get on with the review. Can and I? Hence my sun shirt. Can I? Because we're fresh from it. Let me take yes, that out. Take really, so I wanted to say, this to the side. right off the bat, so it's directed by Sam Raimi, starring Benedict Cumberbatch, uh, Elizabeth Olsen, uh, Chiatel Ejiofor, e or I meant it just butchered his name. But, um, I wasn't even about Benedict to Benedict Wong, Never uh, right. and there is a newcomer to the screen. Um, I guess her name is Akshiti Gomez. Sochil Gomez. Uh, she plays America in the movie. Uh, Rachel McAdams, and uh, then there's a bunch of uh, new faces in there. There's some surprise faces that I don't want to say because I, I want this to be spoiler free, and this is just our opinion on the film because we just came from it, in case you're going to see it. Um, or because we want to know what our opinion is to your opinion, too. So um, I'll try and keep mine quick and short. So what I got from it, what I felt was, it was a huge blockbuster film. Um, I thoroughly enjoyed it. Uh, it was it was different because it wasn't as um, mature as the first Doctor Strange. It was a little bit more on the tongue-in-cheek side of jokes and funniness there. That was more like Spider-Man kind of, but it was more violent. The violence in this one was like yeah, I was shocked. Sam Raimi went for like horror, which which I really enjoyed, like the, the horror side of the element of the Doctor Strange. Like there were there were points when the theater like actually jumped, and there were moments where you were like, oh, you know, like kind of on the edge of your seat for like the thriller side of things. Um, but with that being said, um, there were also moments with as big of a scale as this movie was it almost felt like it could have possibly been on the Disney Plus channel as a TV show. It was so hit or it was very few scenes like that to me were in there. So I would say it leaned towards this huge blockbuster film more so than a couple scenes. But there were a couple scenes when it came to the visual effects and sets that looked like, you know, like this could have been a TV series on Disney Plus and that was my opinion on it, it kind of, which kind of took me back. I wouldn't say took me out of it because all in all it was still good. And the story was, was for the most part pretty awesome and amazing and uh, Benedict Cumberbatch was phenomenal as always when he's Doctor Strange. So I wanted to kind of get that out before I forgot the things that I wanted to say about it. What, so what's your take? Um, it's funny, I was sitting in the theater and a part of me was like, why is this not on Disney Plus? It should have been on Disney Plus. At some point, some spot. Yeah, at some spot. Not all, because some of them. Were um, I actually off. think I felt almost the exact same. I love the first Doctor Strange. Yeah, she's so I was going the into Doctor the Strange. first Doctor Strange wanting the exact same feel, and this to me was a little comic booky more than what I was wanting. Um, it's like what you said. It, it was definitely on that horror side. I jumped and screamed out loud once or twice even. Uh, but it felt more like Evil Dead. Funny, like a little bit of the I can okay, tell. Sam Raimi. Yeah, it so there felt was definitely like you knew that Sam, Sam Raimi. Raimi directed it because some of the the the, the tongue in cheek humor. Which is not a bad thing. It isn't a bad Sam thing, Raimi but when you were expecting awesome. the first Doctor Strange and it and and it was so completely different, it was it I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I was going to, and I didn't enjoy it as much as the first one, so I'm sorry. I, please don't hate me. That's her that. opinion. That was it, her opinion it, it, on it. it. And it's your opinion. Everybody has different um, I But I do feel like it, it It was where the, the acting was so good. Like, all of it. Like, from everybody in the act, in the crew and the actors all around. I There was a little bit of a... Um, Elizabeth Olsen was stole the show in this. Elizabeth movie. Olsen was amazing. Wait, do you see her she as, killed as the Scarlet Witch in Wanda? I, I would have liked amazing the movie job. just to have been Elizabeth Olsen and Benedict Cumberbatch. Benedict Cumberbatch. But, but that would have been like not the exact story. I know, but it wouldn't have been great. Just like the two of them fighting. 
right? So yeah, um, so we are fresh out of the theater and we were like, let's let's just get this to them immediately and just tell us our thoughts so that we can kind of see if you go see this movie, what your thoughts were, or you know, maybe you didn't hear what we say and you're like, maybe wait till it comes out on Disney Plus or rush to the theater. We went and, and see saw it, it in we, IMAX and we it, saw it, it in was, IMAX. It was beautiful. Yeah, and to it the was eyes. it was incredible. Yeah. And, it, and the story and everything that was there was was Danny pretty Elfman amazing. did the music. The music was Ooh. my it's favorite part. part. My, the, my, the music was my favorite it's part. Dan, it's Danny so. Elfman. What do you what do you expect? Yeah, you ready? Danny Elfman. So let's give it a. Like oh, a, we didn't cheers so once. We didn't cheers we once. Cheers. cheers. Cheers to the talent. Cast, the cast. Cheers Sam Raimi, to the Sam Raimi. Sam yeah. Raimi had a really yeah. cute. Uh, he, you can tell he's just a great guy. He had a really cute um, cameo. But and, I won't say anything. Else. And, and Stay I would. Till the and end. I would say cheers to the like thousands of VFX artists that worked on yeah. this all around the world. All the crew, and it was all a job that gave a lot of people work, so. Okay. Anyway. The cast and crew did great, and it was a huge movie, so enjoy, uh, and then here's our review. I gotta take my little step. Right? We didn't do it. In three, two, one. 6.5. See, and that's her opinion, and, and, and in my opinion would be like, it was still a great movie, but can I rank it up into the tops? Not yet, maybe if I watch it again. All right, hey, thanks for tuning in uh, to the channel. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Uh, we definitely are going to be coming back with a lot of reviews, and we are doing reactions as well. Um, and we just try and lend our opinion as filmmakers. Um, we love you as usual. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Mwah.